Gaurav Goyal and I would like to give you a brief overview of my article titled Evolution of Regrafne from Bench to Bedside in Colorectal Cancer Is it an attractive option or merely a me-too drug? In this article, I review the development of regrafenib from the initial preclinical studies to the large phase 3 clinical trials. I also discuss several unique issues pertaining to regrafenib use in clinical practice. Colorectal cancer is a major public health problem in the US and globally. In the US, it is the second leading cause of cancer mortality. Over the past two decades, several novel agents were approved by the US FDA for the treatment of metastatic colorectal cancer. These include drugs that target angiogenesis such as bevacizumab, zivaflibercept, and ramucirumab, anti-EGFR monoclonal antibodies such as cetuximab and panitumumab, regorafenib, which is a small molecule multikinase inhibitor, and finally, TAS-102 and anti-PD-1 immunotherapy are additional agents that were recently added to this list. Tumor angiogenesis has been one of the major targets for the development of new anti-cancer agents and regorafenib is active against several angiogenic receptor tyrosine kinases. It is also active against oncogenic receptor tyrosine kinases, stromal receptor tyrosine kinases, as well as intracellular signaling kinases. Regorafenib originally came from a drug discovery program with urea class compounds following the development of sorafenib in 1990s. This figure shows the chemical structure of sorafenib and regorafenib. The only structural difference between these two agents is that regorafenib has a fluorine in the center phenyl ring. This additional structural modification of regorafenib results in a similar yet distinct biochemical profile when compared with sorafenib. Preclinical studies using several in vitro assays and tumor xenograft models have documented the broad spectrum activity of regorafenib against colorectal cancer. This figure demonstrates the multikinase activity of regorafenib. Regorafenib is active against several stromal receptor tyrosine kinases such as FGFR and PDGFR beta, angiogenic receptor tyrosine kinases such as VEGF receptors and type 2, oncogenic receptor tyrosine kinases such as RET and CKIT. It also inhibits intracellular signaling kinases such as RAF. Through its action on several signaling pathways, regorafenib inhibits the survival and proliferation of tumor cells, thereby exerting its anti-cancer effects. Regorafenib was evaluated in several phase 1 clinical trials which showed that it had an acceptable safety profile in advanced refractory metastatic colorectal cancer. The dose of 160 mg once a day in 21 days on and 7 days off schedule was determined to be the recommended phase 2 dose for single agent regorafenib. Some of the common adverse events associated with regorafenib use include voice changes, hand foot skin reaction, fatigue, mucositis, diarrhea and hypertension. This table summarizes the key aspects of the completed phase 3 clinical trials of regorafenib in metastatic colorectal cancer. The correct study evaluated the efficacy of regorafenib in metastatic colorectal cancer whose tumor had progressed after all approved standard therapies. The primary endpoint of the study was overall survival. The median overall survival was 6.4 months in the regorafenib arm and 5 months in the placebo arm and this was statistically significant. The CONQUER study was specifically designed to assess the efficacy of regorafenib in Asian patients. The primary endpoint of overall survival was 8.8 .8 months in the regorafenib arm and 6.3 months in the placebo arm in this study. Rebecca and Consign were single arm open label studies that were performed in the real world setting. Based on the results of the correct trial, regorafenib was approved by the US FDA in 2012 for patients with refractory metastatic colorectal cancer. There are several unique issues pertaining to regorafenib use that warrant consideration. For example, one of the main challenges with regorafenib therapy at the current dosing is that it is associated with relatively high incidence of adverse events in clinical practice. 
Strategies aimed at improving the tolerability of the drug are discussed in the article. The impact of regorafenib therapy on health-related quality of life is also discussed. Regorafenib offers modest survival benefit and therefore its cost-effectiveness is a subject of debate. In addition to causing tumor shrinkage, anti-angiogenic agents can cause cavitation in tumors as a result of central necrosis from inhibition of blood supply to the tumor. This should be kept in mind, especially when assessing radiographic response to regorafenib therapy. Real-life treatment with regorafenib is associated with significant toxicity leading to frequent treatment discontinuation. Therefore, it makes it very important to try and identify a distinct subgroup of metastatic colorectal cancer patients who might be more likely to respond to regorafenib therapy. Several novel predictive and prognostic biomarkers of regorafenib are being evaluated. Some select candidates include functional imaging modalities such as dynamic contrast enhanced MRI and contrast enhanced ultrasound, biochemical parameters such as CEA and CA19.9, and plasma levels of several cytokines such as VEGF and soluble VEGF receptor 2. Mutations in KRAS, PIK3CA, and BRAF genes, as well as polymorphisms in several genes. P53 upregulated modulator of apoptosis, also called as PUMA, and metabolic response assessment using FDG PET. To conclude, Regorafenib is a multi-targeted kinase inhibitor with single agent activity in metastatic colorectal cancer. It was approved by the US FDA in September 2012 for the treatment of refractory metastatic colorectal cancer. There are several unique issues pertaining to regorafenib use in clinical practice that need consideration and are discussed in the article. In summary, my article provides an exhaustive review of development of regorafenib from the initial preclinical studies to the large phase 3 clinical trials. In addition, it examines the current clinical space occupied by regorafenib in the treatment of metastatic colorectal cancer at 5 years after its initial FDA approval in 2012.